hello students welcome back to my channel in this video we will be studying with starting with the topic of line coding so line coding is the process of converting a sequence of bits into a digital signal now in the previous videos we have learned that whenever you have to send data over a communication network or you have to transmit some kind of data you need to use either analog signals or digital signals so line coding is the process of putting or representing or encoding digital data which is in the form of sequence of bits into digital signals okay so if you are sending digital signals for communication you need to represent your data which is in the form of bits onto these digital signals and this process of representation of converting uh, of sequence of bits to a digital signal is known as line coding okay so in line coding we have some digital data which is in the form of bits that means zeros and ones because computer understands the language of zeros and ones now this digital data has to be represented in the form of a digital signal so digital data is converted into digital signal on the sender side so that this digital signal which is being now sent over the channel is received by the receiver and then to understand what information what bits this digital signal represent the receiver then again converts the digital signal into digital data okay so in between there is the medium the communication medium or the transmission channel through which this digital signal will be sent to the receiver from the sender side and at the receiver side again since the computer will understand the data in the form of bits so this digital signal will be converted into digital data now there are different types of line coding different techniques of converting bits into digital signals and these techniques are the first type is unipolar technique which consists of one subcategory which is nrz nrz basically stands for non return to zero so we will understand each of these techniques in detail uh, now the second type of line encoding technique is polar technique in polar line coding there are three types first is nrz that means non return to zero then there is rz which is return to zero and then there is biphase now nrz is further divided into nrz l which means nrz level and the second subcategory is nrz i which means nrz invert and biphase also has two subcategories which is manchester and differential manchester the next is bipolar line coding which consists of ami and pseudo ternary sub techniques the next or the fourth subcategory or type of line coding is multi level line coding which consists of three main types 2b 1q 8b 6t 4d am 5 we will understand the meaning of each of these in detail in the coming videos also and the last or the fifth type of line coding is multi transition which has a subcategory of um, mlt3 now starting with unipolar line coding in today's lecture unipolar line coding basically uh, ensures that whenever you are creating a digital signal the levels in the digital signal are present only on one side of the time axis either above or below so a digital signal uh if you represent a digital signal you will first create a time axis then either the signal should be present here above the axis or it should be present here there should not be any representation of the digital signal which covers above the upper side of the axis also and the lower side also okay so that is why we say it is unipolar uni means one polar means side so one side all the signal levels are present on one side of the time axis 
and since we said that unipolar has a subcategory of nrz which is non return to zero so in this technique if we have to represent bit 1 then we will represent it with a positive voltage and if we have to represent bit 0 we will represent it with a zero voltage okay so zero voltage will all lie on the time axis and positive voltage denoted by plus v will lie above the time axis so we are only uh, encoding or we are only representing the digital signal on one side of the time axis that is above okay now uh, what does nrz means nrz means that the signal does not return to zero in the middle of the bit now if this particular uh, signal element represents one bit if this entire portion represents one bit then in the entire duration of the bit the level does not return to zero in future line coding techniques you will see that during one bit also there are techniques that make the digital signal go down to zero and then start the next bit but in this the level remains the same the digital signal level remains the same throughout the bit okay throughout the length of the bit now if in nrz we have to encode this data 1 0 1 1 0 so 1 will be represented by positive voltage 0 will be represented by 0 voltage again 1 will be represented by positive voltage the next one will also have positive voltage and 0 will have 0 voltage so here i have drawn the representation of this digital data in the form of digital signal using nrz unipolar line encoding technique okay so we first had to represent positive voltage so positive voltage has been represented here and this is one okay then we had to represent zero voltage so immediately when the next bit starts we will change the level from positive voltage to zero and this during the entire duration of this bit this particular level will remain zero then as soon as the duration of this bit ends so we assume that the entire time is divided into equal amount such that each time interval will represent one bit okay so this is you can say a sub time interval re each representing one bit in this case the representation will be 10110 so receiver will see the signal and interpret that this is a positive voltage so one bit has to be had been sent by the sender then this is a zero voltage then immediately you will go above and represent a positive voltage then when this particular bit ends again you have a next one so you will continue with the positive voltage then when this time interval for the bit ends you have to represent the next bit now and since the next bit is zero you will instantaneously change the level come down to the zero voltage okay now one drawback of the nrz technique is that it is very costly as compared to its polar counterparts okay so we will be studying about polar line coding techniques in the next video and you will see that uh, unipolar it is very costly and that is why it is not used today not used these days so uh, this is one advantage this is one drawback of the nrz technique that you must remember and this is how you will encode any digital data into the form of digital signal in the nrz technique so if you understood this concept please let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching this video from the next video we will be continuing with the line coding techniques and studying the polar the biphase manchester differential manchester and all other types of line coding thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam